should I be a SCA, a security control assessor, or should I be an ISSO, information system security officer? Now, I get this question a lot, and the truth of the matter is both are good. Now, let's check it out. Should I become a security control assessor or an ISSO? I get asked this question a lot. Should I become a SCA or ISSO, Information System Security Officer? Now this depends on which one is right for you. As an ISSO, you are going to be engaging with your clients, with your project team, you're going to be attending a lot of meetings. You're going to be asked questions about um, security compliance. Hey, are we allowed to do this? Are we allowed to do that? Um, you're going to be responsible for reviewing documents. You're going to be responsible for data calls, which is, hey, can you provide me all the, the list of all the um, Windows systems that has this issue? Or can you provide me a list of all the systems that were affected with this issue last year? Can you provide me a list of all the um, POEMs, plan of actions and milestones for last month? So those are the types of things you will be doing as an ISSO. You're also kind of a liaison between your boss, the chief information security officer, and your client, your system owner. All right, so you're going to be like a an ambassador for the security team there to answer questions, there to guide them in the right direction as they pursue getting authorization to use their software. Now, the ISSO is not a technical position. Um, it does involve um, being in a lot of meetings. Sometimes the meetings are meetings where you have to be engaged, where you have to be uh, participate in the meeting. Sometimes they're meetings that you facilitate. Sometimes they're meetings where you're not an active member or uh, participant in the meeting. You're just um, there to listen. SCA, on the other hand, Security Control Assessor, is a role where you might not be that much client-facing, so you might not have as many meetings as the uh, ISSO. So this would be a position where you plan on how you're going to do the assessment. You have that meeting, and you send the plan to your client. Then you start working on your security controls. If you have a question, you could send an email, you could call, or you could schedule a meeting. It's your choice. Then once the uh, security control assessment is done, then you have another meeting to let them know how the, the results of the assessment, what failed. So you would do a security um, assessment report. All right, and then once that's over, your job is done, and then you move on to the next system that needs a, an assessment. Whereas the ISSO is involved in all the phases of the RMF. If you're not uh, familiar with the RMF, it's the Risk Management Framework. I do have a video on that, so go check it out. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, the RMF um, simplified or slim simply explained, so go check that out. So the the ISSO, um, sometimes it could be busy and then you get into stages where you're not that busy. Um, same thing with the SCA. So pro and con would be, uh, as a security control assessor, is sometimes it could be boring or repetitive where you're doing um, the same thing over and over again. Um, sometimes you could knock what all your controls out in a day if you are that dedicated. Uh, knock it out in a, you know, a day, a few days, a week, and then you have that time to relax. Uh, con, sometimes depending on how your organization is set up, they might say, hey, you know what, let's have reoccurring meetings every day to discuss the evidence needed for the assessment. Okay, um, they both pay um, six-figure salaries, so I wouldn't say that one um, 
pays more than the other one. Uh, it just depends on your experience, right? Um, the pro with the ISSO is that you're not responsible for the assessment. However, in most cases, you do a mock assessment or pre-assessment. Um, one of the cons of being an ISSO is a lot of meetings. So if you don't mind being in meetings as opposed to actively working on assessments, then that's, that will be a, a pro for you. Um, so that those are the things, I would say, the differences between uh, a SCA and ISSO. Um, and if you're seeking, hey, which one's right for me, then I would say the SCA would be right for you if you don't want to attend so many meetings and you just want to do your security controls and knock them out. The ISO would be good for you if you don't mind being in meetings, and you don't mind reviewing things, and you don't mind uh, you know, providing guidance. Uh, then the ISSO position would be um, great for you. I do have courses for both the security control assessor and the information system security officer. So you could go check it out at www.cyberfirstacademy.com um, and check out the, um, the modules. You'd see all the duties of a SCA and duties of an ISSO. So um, again, these positions are not technically inclined. They're not technical positions. They all have to do with compliance, risk, and governance. So I um, hope this was helpful. Hey, if you're interested in any of my cybersecurity videos, here is one I would recommend for you. It's the Information System Security Officer Training. This course comes with tons of videos, uh, a CAP, which is the Certified Authorization Professional Bootcamp. It comes with quizzes, comes with a certificate of completion, resume template, um, ebook, monthly live Q&A sessions, the ability to ask questions as well and get a response back in uh, 48 hours. Also has interview prep and job prep. So this is a power packed course. For more information, visit www.cyberfirstacademy.com. Thanks. I have a cybersecurity course called the Security Control Assessor course. This course trains you on how to become a security control assessor. Don't forget to subscribe and like. We're also on IG at CyberFirst Solutions. Thank you.